I hope it was you too. It was. Good. Laura's having a very rough time with it now. She doesn't need any kind of torment from anybody. She has enough to cope with as it is. So everyone keeps telling me. Because it's true. Anyway, what I I wanted to say was I know what it's like to want somebody and have them bring somebody else. It can be a very hurtful and very painful situation. But I learned something from it. I'd like to pass it on to you. What? It's never the other woman's fault. And in this case, Laura. It's not her fault that Scotty feels as simply as he does for her. I, um, I really don't understand why you're telling me all this. Because of your jealousy. It's causing the animosity to Laura. You know. Look, I'm all over Scotty now, so it really doesn't matter. You are. Yes. Scotty and I had a long talk about it, and we're good friends, and I'm content with that. I hope that's true. Thank you. For I've got a meeting in my office with Steve, and I would like very much for you to sit here with Monica and keep all the other men away. Well, I'd be glad to. I'm glad. Thank you very much, Scotty. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later, darling. Okay. Bye, Scotty. Come on. I heard the good news about Laura. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that something where everything just worked out like that? I guess nobody's happy about it, but you are. Oh, except Laura. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you bet I am. I am, too. You know, Mark, you've always been a good friend to Laura, both, to both of us. Even after that big hassle last year. Well, i got to be honest with you, Scotty. I'm not proud of the part I played in that. Laura was too young to have an affair with you, with anybody. Yeah, but Monica, you didn't judge it. And you didn't condemn it. And you were really trying to help Laura. Oh, I could see that she was confused. I have known that feeling many times. I thought it better to put her on the pill than have her go and get pregnant. But I was wrong. Very wrong to do it behind my back. No, 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 because you, you really cared about Laura. I can't. I still do. Only these days, I can't quite figure her out. What do you mean? Well, she's so young in so many ways, and so grown up in so many ways, I really don't know exactly how to treat her. Yeah, I know. But Monica, Laura, she's not a child anymore. She's a real woman. Do you know what I mean? I think I do. And I really, I really, I'm not sure how to treat her anymore myself. And I don't know how to quite handle my own feelings. For instance, well, me and Rick, they advise me not to get too serious with Laura. Because they say that she's too shaken up and confused by everything that's happened. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it, Scotty? Well, it, it does. It does on paper. They talk about, I mean, we and Rick talk about how things should be. But they don't know how things really are. And, see, they think that if something happened between Laura and me, I mean, if something went on, that Laura might get hurt again. Well, Scotty, the, their feelings are understandable. Yeah, but Monica, I would never hurt Laura. I couldn't. And I, I, I want to be with her. See, it's not just physical, it's not just a physical attraction. It comes out of that of really caring for her and loving her. You know, and I, I, I don't know what to do. I'll give you a piece of advice. Against my better judgment, because Lord knows I should have learned my lesson a long time ago about giving advice, so you take it from my it's worth, okay? Yeah, I will. Trust your instincts. That's where your feelings are. And there are your feelings. But, above all, protect Laura. Yeah, yeah. That's the only answer that I could come up with, too. See ya.
say good night. It was very nice to see you again, Lori. Thank you, Dr. Quartermain. And again, I cannot tell you how happy I am about about the way things turned out with you and Judge Stallman. Thank you, Mom. Oh, you're welcome. And I'll see you tomorrow at the hospital, okay? Absolutely. Good night, Monica. Alan, Scotty. And I'll see you in Gail's office for coffee, right? Okay, that's a date. <laughs> and I'll walk you to the door. That's the thing, too. <laughs> Don't forget, you have to find time for our secret shopping trip. I'll talk to you as soon as I see Jeff. Okay. Ah, Senorita, please. Good night. See you soon. Good night, both of you again. We'll have to make it happen again, Miss Watson. Oh, good. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Drive carefully and watch the ice. Well, all in all, I think that was a very uh, successful evening. Everybody seemed to enjoy themselves? Yes. Did you enjoy? Oh, yes, of course I did. Now I'm exhausted. I think I'm going to go to bed early. I hope you won't stay up too long. No, I won't. Yeah, well, I've got to be leaving pretty soon myself, but I do want to take Laura through the chemistry one more time. Well, that's important. Thanks. Listen, i got to make a call. Laura? No. That one's called Monica Quartermain. I want to ask her if she'll she'll help me pick it out. The ring. At this hour? I know it's early, but you'll understand. Monica has always... Well, she's always understood the situation about Laura and I, you know, for anybody. Thank you. 
Listen, if you get back within an hour, I'll be in the cafeteria, okay? Bye. Bye. Quick, no, I'm in a hurry, and I don't try to email. Why?